Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm glad to be here. I wanted to share um, the knowledge about uh, how to design for scale, specifically for GPU-based infrastructure uh, when you're developing autonomous vehicles. Uh, a lot of prototypes happening in this world. Uh, we are when you talk about the scale here and why the importance of building a standardized AV infrastructure. So let me dive right into a quick overview on the agenda. Today we'll cover a overview on the GPU platform, which is evolving years over year. Uh, you may have heard about NVIDIA's um, focus into autonomous vehicles. Um, we'll also talk about the fundamentals required uh, to start building up an architecture around autonomous vehicles. <clears throat> we'll discuss AV workflow and platform, specifically from training and inference, because that's where the scale is going to play the biggest game. Um, and we'll also talk specifics and the pillars of the architecture um, for people who are involved into building it. Um, in the end of this part, I'll leave you with the NVIDIA drive, which is end-to-end -end infrastructure for AV development uh, offered by NVIDIA and um, how it's available and what's the call to action there. To conclude, we'll have the key pointers, takeaways, um, uh, list of all the developer engagement platforms NVIDIA offers um, for the community and our NVIDIA software hub, the, the new offerings and new goodies we have added into it recently. So first and foremost, and complete overview, if you're not aware of NVIDIA, or um, let me give you a quick walkthrough on that. As part of any architecture, there's a, there's a processing units are the important pieces for compute. So GPU, CPU, and DPU. Uh, what does DPU mean? DPU is a data processing unit, uh, which, is, which helps into so this includes all the pillars for hardware, software, data center, reference architectures designed with one architecture, blessed by a rich developer ecosystem. Now, let me explain the DPU part, which is a uh, data processing unit. It's become the third member of the data-centric accelerated computing model. And this is going to represent one of the three major pillars of computing going forward. CPU, as we know, is a general purpose computing, and the GPU is for accelerated computing and the DPU, which moves data around the data center, does data processing. Now, to, uh, second block shows the CUDA, uh, which is uh, NVIDIA's uh, uh, platform, and all the libraries and tools are offered on top of it. That's where you build the software full stack on top of it. We have very rich reference architectures on the data center side, depending on the industry. Uh, today, we are talking about autonomous vehicle here, so we'll focus on that. And one single architecture offered by NVIDIA and which, which helps you maintain the performance throughput, latencies, needs. And this is blessed by, as I said, a uh, very rich developer ecosystem, close to 2 million developers now. So focusing on autonomous vehicles, training and inference at scale. Uh, why is it needed specifically in this auto industry, which is growing and has the rapid need of uh, having it all streamlined into one platform? Billions of trillions of operations, GP need to train these large models. And on the right hand side, you see the inference needs. You know, depending on what, what is your design for the vehicle, you may have LIDARs, cameras, um, voice, and a lot of AI uh, features in the car. The typical workflow of a training to inference um, looks like this you have a data, you will have some framework, either in TensorFlow, PyTorch, Cafe depending on your architecture, you will train the models and it could be in any, any kind of environment. It could be a multi-cloud, on-prem, hybrid, and we will discuss about the reference architectures in this. Um, and then we move into inferencing. Uh, depending on the data, um, you infer those infer on those models. And not, not to make it more complicated, we have a can be an explosion of AI models happening. You know, depending on your use cases, you will have uh, choice of your networks, uh, whether it's encoder decoders or LSTMs uh, for a recurrent transformer, whether it's a BERT or Megatrons for your voice needs, NLP needs, um, generative adversarial networks for your, again, requirements. Reinforcement learning is becoming a very primary topic these days. Depending on what algorithms you have used, uh, they need to be trained. And as we said, data is the currency here. So building the whole infrastructure is and looking at holistically as a you know, hardware and software, not just only hardware or software is very important. And that's what the emphasis is here for having AV full stack design. 
So here I've just mentioned a couple of hardware appliances offered by NVIDIA. These are also um, the left side DGX. There's equivalent uh, UCS box offered by Cisco uh, with A100s uh, as a compute horse. Um, for reference here, it's a hardware appliance set in five, which is our own internal data supercomputer data center. So you build a data center backbone on top of this. On the right side is the constellation, which is our offering for validation and testing, um, simulation-based validation and testing for both hard, hill and sill, hardware in the loop and software in the loop. But the, the compute, we got it. That's taken care, uh, the hardware compute. Now the software pieces are equally important. And hence the data management, workflow management, and, the, and all the type of data sets and models, which we just talked in the previous slides, uh, needs to be all very well decided and frozen and not be, I would say, changed very very frequently. Of course, um, as things evolve, you need to address them, but you need to have a one solid architecture and infrastructure to manage all these things. And that's where NVIDIA is focusing on and working with our partners to make sure that uh, partners and customers are doing the right thing. Uh, based on our experience of almost eight to 10 years now in this industry. So most of the application solutions in this are playing with the data sets, they're training the models, the replay, replaying the already generated data, and also simulating to scale the testing and validation. All four are heavy compute needs, uh, and that's the, that's the reason why the underneath infrastructure needs to be very solid and firm. NVIDIA also offers a Tensor RT inference platform. Um, so oh, this part of the architecture is important choice is the frameworks, um, depending on whether it's TensorFlow, PyTorch, as we said, they're the most popular ones for the AV. Um, you build in on top of it and where you're inferencing, you'll, depending on what type of, and so we have choices around the automotive, there's a, we have a drive, uh, for embedded, we have Jetson, now it's Xavier, uh, and the data center. Uh, we'll talk in the detail. So talking about all this, TensorRT, which is an optimized uh, version of TensorFlow offered by NVIDIA, is, is actually uh, amazing in the performance offered by um, on GPUs. So we highly recommend developers to uh, explore it and use that as an option, sorry. But the holy grail behind all this, you know, that's what we are trying to achieve, eyes and ears for the vehicle, whether it's obstacles, distance, time to collision, free space. You know, the car is going to think like a human. And if I try to oversimplify it, the four big perception, mapping, planning, driver monitoring, these are the four things we are building. And there are many more. Um, but these are called neural networks and or we can call them software models. Um, the richness of these models and the smartness and intelligence of these models will be defined based on how frequently you're able to train them, tune them, optimize them, and also how rich is your data, which is a, which is a constant effort. And as the cars on the, on the road, uh, whether it's through simulation or um, real-time testing, you every company is becoming richer. Now that's where the need of scale is coming. You don't want to touch your infrastructure too many times. You freeze on it, and then you just continue to train these models, software models on it. Today, they are 20, 20 plus. Uh, some car companies are claiming to have around 48, 50. Um, and you know, we, we completely believe it could be almost 100 models at some point when you will have a complete L5 uh, car running on the streets. So this, understanding the whole infrastructure, the needs of the industry. We have, we have, we have put the reference architecture of um, the data, the, the compute going in the data center as well as going in the car. And both of them require a software aspect. Um, and that's where we are focusing on uh, to call it an AV full stack. So I'll give a little overview on what's, uh, um, how is it going in the car? So a little bit overview on the drive software, which is NVIDIA drive software. All the models we talked are deployed on the drive AV, which is in the car. 
And we kind of, let's take a bottom up look to this. So drive AGX developer kits are available along with the, the box we offer and the Hyperion developer kit as well. Everything, when, once you download the whole software, you get the part of the drive OS, which is NV Media, CUDA, TensorRT, NV Streams, all, the, all bundled in with the APIs and, and the Drivebox software, um, which comes with pre-trained models um, on the left side with the drive AV models and the drive IX models for the AI in the car. Now, saying that this is more like a platform, uh, developers need to use their own data sets, own uh, model, own algorithms, and they can further tune it to their needs. But we get them a very good ramp up uh, to almost a functioning car if they are ready with the hardware pieces. Um, so talk to us if that's where you are and we can discuss and we can help them design the reference architecture and share all the knowledge we have built over the years. Safety is a very important aspect and we have taken major focus towards the uh, drive OS for safety. Um, of course, scalability, security and production readiness of the hardened to be in the production, uh, both hardware and software. So let's have a quick overview on an end-to-end AV flow. How does it look like? Because that is why the AV stack needs to be uh, thought through. So left side is the drive AV, which goes in the car. And all the things we just talked and the software stack we showed you uh, is the drive AGX. And we have a developer program for it. If you're interested, if you're in this domain, please reach out to, uh, or you can explode NVIDIA drive developer program. I'll leave you for some links in the end of the session. All, this, all the data from sensors, cameras gets into and gets ingested into the data center for for the training or what we discussed in earlier slides. Now, you ingest the data, you have to curate it, label it, which is what we call it active learning, targeted learning. And you'll have to transfer this learning for a training and replay depending on what you're doing. And very important aspect is simulation um, for in order to scale. Now this, all, all this compute, um, we have put in some range numbers, but you know these numbers are multiplying on an every daily basis. And the drive infra, which is the backbone to do all this um, once the data is ingested into a data center. Hardware and, soft, hardware and software combination being readily available for the developers is the, is the discussion in this uh, talk. So look at it end to end, uh, discuss with your teams. This is how we believe it should be thought through and and it's a time tested and most of our keep OEMs partners are building their infra, uh, discussing these things. And as, as the compute evolves and gets better, uh, we have recent A100, um, which is part of the DGX and which will be available in Cisco UCS very soon as well, um, um, is, is, is part of the reference architecture. Now, hardware is easy to understand knowing the nature of uh, the industry. Uh, software pieces. I wanted to emphasize on how do we um, offer the, all these software and how to make it simple, not only for AV, but for every industry. What we have done is we have consolidated all the containers, tools, APIs, pre-trained models, and um, a lot of useful tools, even data sets uh, for some matter all available under this NGC, which we named as NVIDIA GPU Cloud. It is a software hub a repository of all these things. You will get a diverse range of workloads specific to your industry. Uh, you'll get, get optimized DL containers. We highly recommend you use it through this. If you are programming on GPUs, you use the containers because they are, they are optimized to function. We have made sure the backward compatibility on those containers. So we taking the hassle out of your daily development uh, challenges. Of course, secure and reliable, that's our uh, main focus. Scalable because as the need of the infrastructure is increasing, your multi-GPU, multi-node systems are becoming more and more complex. Uh, you want to make sure container is the last thing or software is the last thing bothering you. So all the software built on top of our containers will, will, will ensure that it's functioning. And it's designed for enterprise and HPC. I don't have to uh, make a more uh, weight on it. 
the biggest because we work with all the uh, cloud service providers and we have built up a knowledge on that it works on all the bare metals vms kubernetes whether you call it x86 arm power um, we are learning and working with partners on multi cloud on prem hybrid edge uh, various infrastructures so all that knowledge has been baked into these containers and made it available for you nvidia full stack um, you have to make sure that you think about the full stack holistically and customize and the av workflow should be customizable but not changing too frequently because it becomes a hassle for developers to learn new tools drive ajx platform i already gave overview on the hardware as well as the software pieces and i will leave you with some quick links to all the developer resources you can find and help you how to fish rather than give you a fish um these are these are the places you can go and find otherwise um if you are very keen and in, in something i'm always available um i'm a developer relations for autonomous vehicles from nvidia i look at global partners and my name is manish harsh uh, my email id would be mharsh@nvidia.com thank you very much it was pleasure talking um i'll put this to close we are out of time thank you very much